one half hour from now, you'll know enough about Cleopatra and the history of dogs to win $10,000 in cash if you were a contestant on Hitman! And now, here's the host of Hitman, Peter Kavarkin! Thank you, Ron Whitey! Hello, all you hit people, and welcome to Hitman! I guarantee you, by the end of the show, well, you're going to have a fun during the show, and by the end of the show, you're going to be an expert on two brand new subjects. But before we get to that, let's meet the folks who are going to actually play our game, and here they are, starting with Barbara. Hi, Peter. I'm Barbara Maller. I'm originally from Chicago. I've been married for 14 years. I have two children. I enjoy gourmet cooking, needle pointing, and knitting. Did you by chance knit that? Yes, I did. That is a beautiful sweater. That is absolutely exquisite. Thank you. Would you knit me one? Sure. Okay. <laughs> Good to have you with us. Thank you. All right, let's meet Billy. Hi, Peter. My name is Billy Tyler. I'm originally from Brooklyn, New York. I've been out here for about a year and a half, living in Los Angeles. Uh, I'm engaged to be married. And my hobby is disco dancing. Oh, that's great. Congratulations. Good having you with us. And let's meet Chris. Hi, my name's Chris Kuba. I'm a civil engineer for the city of San Diego. And I'm single, but I'm dating a very handsome policeman. You had plans to get married? Uh, I do. He doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> well, ho hopefully it'll work out for the both of you. Yeah, I hope so. All right. These are our three challengers. Now, two of them are going to get a chance to go up against our champion in round two. But we don't have to wait to meet our champion because here she is, Beverly Greenslade. Hi, Beverly. How are you? Good to see you. Thank you. How are you doing? Nervous. You're a little nervous? Yeah. Oh, don't be nervous. This is going to be a lot of fun. Right. I had All right, fun last time. I promise time. you. You, okay. you did? You'll have fun again. I promise. Now, champ, you'll be watching from off stage. We'll be seeing you in round two. And we'll be seeing you right after this. Isn't it amazing? With all these leading washing machine products, there's not one made just for gentle cycle washing. Until now. Introducing Woolite Gentle Cycle Powder. Its blue powder dissolves fast in cold water. It's the only national brand made just for the gentle cycle. Cleans safely without shrinking, stretching, or fading. Clothes stay soft, beautiful. For gentle cycle washing, trust new Woolite Gentle Cycle Powder. Well, we'll get your mother later and go to the movies. Dad, we forgot the peanut butter. Can we buy Superman peanut butter? Our brand's fine, honey. Have you ever tasted Superman peanut butter? Its strength is its great taste. Mmm, delicious. Smooth and creamy, a real fresh roasted peanut flavor. It's nutritious, too. The good housekeeping seal. Must be good. It did taste terrific. Superman peanut butter. Its strength is its great taste. Now, before we get to any of the questions, we're going to give you all the answers. But all the answers are in the form of a story. And all the questions we ask are going to be based on that story. The story of Cleopatra. What a gal. Egypt, 50 years before the birth of Christ. Hey, that sounded good. Let's say it again. <laughs> Egypt, 50 years before the birth of Christ. The country was split by a civil war between Ptolemy, the crown prince of Egypt, and his older sister, Cleopatra. Now, the truth is, we have no proof of how Cleopatra looked. But from ancient accounts, she was small with a well-rounded figure, had dark hair, and a small face, and a somewhat hooked nose. Gorgeous, huh? Anyway, Julius Caesar arrived to settle a feud between Cleopatra and her brother. Julius ordered the two of them to meet him in the city of Alexandria. But Cleopatra, fearing her family's history of murdering each other, entered the palace secretly, rolled up in a carpet. When the carpet was unrolled in front of Caesar, he found himself totally captivated by Cleopatra. A word about Caesar. He was at this time a middle-aged man who had married four times in vain in order to get a male heir. But guess what? Faster than you could say, I'll meet you behind the Sphinx, Cleopatra had a son by Julius named Caesarea. Now all that was needed was for Julius to go back to Rome and have himself declared emperor. So he did. But wouldn't you know it, right before Julius became emperor, he became dead. Assassinated by Brutus in the Senate of Rome on March 15, 44 BC. So Cleopatra went back to Egypt to await developments. Developments took the form of one Mark Antony. 
The best way to describe Mark Antony is to tell you that whenever he's portrayed on the screen, it's always by people like Marlon Brando, Charlton Heston, or Richard Burton. In other words, a physically primo guy. Now, Mark Antony came to Egypt because after Caesar's death, Antony and Caesar's nephew, Octavian, split up the Roman Empire, and Antony got the Middle East. When Antony got to the city of Tarsus, Cleopatra pulled up in her barge. The Roman poet, Plutarch, describes the barge as having purple sails and a poop of gold. We don't know what a poop is, but if you're going to have one, gold seems like a good way to go. In any event, Cleopatra invited Antony onto the barge to get acquainted. Antony came off the barge four days later. The relationship between Cleopatra and Antony annoyed Antony's old partner, Octavian, who declared war against Cleopatra and defeated both Antony and Cleopatra at the great sea battle of Actium. Now here comes the sad part. When Cleopatra got back to Alexandria, she locked herself up in her mausoleum and had herself bitten by a poisonous snake called an asp. Antony, on the other hand, fell on his sword. Well, at least they got that part right. What if Cleopatra had tried to be bitten by a sword and Antony had fallen on his ass? <laughs> And that's our first story. I like that. It's a nice sound. That's our first story. All right. Our game is played in two very different rounds. In round one, our three challengers will be fighting it out in order to determine which two of them are going to go on to do battle with our reigning champion later on in round two. Now, we make that determination by running a little race. And whichever two of you crosses the finish line first will be the two who go on to meet the champion in round two. Unfortunately, the third place finisher finishes out of the money and out of the game. Sad. But the two of you are going to win. Okay, this is going to be fun, I promise you. Everybody ready? Hands on your buzzers. Here comes your first question. Ready? When Cleopatra first met Caesar, she was rolled up in a what? Billy. Carpet. Carpet is right, and Billy's the first one out of the gate. Who was older, Cleopatra or her brother? Chris? Cleopatra. Cleopatra, indeed. Okay, Chris, leave you with Billy. I mean, it's your turn, by the way. Okay. How many times had Caesar been married? Billy. Four. Before he met Cleopatra, four is right. Billy moves into the lead. After Caesar died, who became Cleopatra's lover? Barbara. Mark Anthony. Mark Anthony's right, and Barbara moves out. What shape nose did Cleopatra... Chris. Curved. Hooked. Yeah, curved, hooked, whatever. It moved around. It wasn't straight. Exactly. Chris is even with Billy. Julius Caesar was assassinated by... Billy. Brutus. Brutus is right, and Billy moves in the lead, one ahead of Chris, and two ahead of Barbara. In his four previous marriages, what did Caesar famously get, Barbara? Uh, an heir to the throne. Yes, an heir to, heir to the throne is right. Very nice. Barbara and Chris, even each one behind Billy. What character has been played in film by Marlon Brando, Charlton, Barbara? Mark Anthony. Mark Anthony is right. Barbara moves up even with Billy. She may knit, but she's a mover. Right. <laughs> Who arrived to settle a feud between Cleopatra and her brother, Billy? Julius Caesar. Julius Caesar's right. Billy moves up. You get those answers right out. Okay. Billy is now one step away from being our first winner. This question could put you over. Here it comes. Antony and Cleopatra's relationship annoyed who? Ah, uh, it annoyed me. No, it annoyed Octavian. Octavian. All right, nobody buzzed in, so we don't have any problems. We've got the same situation. Billy, you're still one step away. Here's the question. After Caesar got a son, he returned to Rome to have himself declared yes. Billy. Emperor. Emperor is right, and you're the first emperor in the army. Congratulations, You are. You're definitely going to go meet that champion in round two. And you get to sit back and relax while the two ladies fight it out to see who's going to join you. I know that upsets you a lot. Okay, Barbara and Chris, here you go. What was the name of Caesar and Cleopatra's son? Barbara. Caesarian. Caesarian is right. Okay, Barbara. If Barbara answers this question correctly, she goes into the winner's circle, and you don't. Okay? <laughs> Big question. All right. We know you can do it. Here it comes. Julius Caesar ordered Cleopatra and her brother to meet him in what city? Chris. Rome. No, oh. Alexandria. Alexandria. Oh. Okay, Chris, you were wrong. You have to sit out this question. We go to Barbara. The question strictly for you, Barbara. If you get it right, you will be the second winner. Okay? Here we go. On Cleopatra's barge, what was the poop made of? Barbara. Gold. Gold is right, and you are second winner. Congratulations, Barbara. A hard battle. Well done. You're going to 
to join Billy in the fight against the champion of round two. And Chris, you played really well. Nice to have you with us. Thank you. Pleasure. Okay, we've got some nice prizes for you. Now, we'll be back in just a moment to see just how well our two challengers do battle against our champion right after this.